Do you want to take a young lady out on a date but don't know how to initiate it? Maybe you're wondering if she even likes older guys. Most older men cancel themselves out when it comes to dating younger women because, well, they feel that their age puts them off. However, with the right attitude and confidence, age should not be a barrier to dating younger women. Even though it is easy to tell if someone likes you, depending on who you are dealing with, it can be just a little bit more challenging to look for those signs. Some women are very upfront and will tell you right away if they like you or not. Others are reserved and are hesitant to express their feelings. Still, others don't give a damn and are only interested in having fun. Hopefully, you'll be able to avoid the game players and have a good chance of finding a lady who wants you to look through her and the aid of the aforementioned common signs. Who knows, this might be the start of a lovely romance. Here we go, let's dive in deep, like and subscribe. She's interested if. Firstly, here are some ways you can tell she is interested in you. Although this may differ from women to women, the basics are exactly that, basic. She will give you hints and show you signs that she is interested in you, but don't expect her to tell you outright that she likes you. Women don't want to put themselves in any situation that would expose them to being rejected. Make conversation. When a younger woman is interested in an older guy, she will try to keep the conversation going as long as she can. Now, she does this in an attempt to connect and bond with him, hoping he will respond in a positive way and that the relationship can develop further. Whether you two are FaceTiming, texting, or even meeting in person, there is never a dull moment. When you talk for hours on end, you almost never run out of things to say. The weather, for example, can be interesting even when it seems uninteresting. She will tell you how those same skies once served as an inspiration for a poem she once wrote if you mention the gloomy skies today. Any effort to continue the conversation will be made by someone who is interested in you. You are not dreaming if she is torturing you in this way. She exudes genuine interest. Touch. Any chance to touch you will be sought after by a girl who likes you and wants to be more than friends. It's normal to want to spend as much time as you can with someone that you care about. And many women yearn for skin-to-skin -skin contact. Now, this can take the form of a hug, a handshake, a touch on your arm while she's laughing, or simply just sitting next to you. Women can express their feelings through physical contact without having to speak. And this is sometimes the most difficult thing for a guy to figure out because, well, a woman will play this off in such a cool way that you will be left wondering whether she's flirting or being incredibly friendly. On the other hand, if a woman touches you more often than other people or gives you meaningful glances and smiles when she's talking, well, she is most definitely likely interested. Copycat. If you spend more time with a woman and she pays more attention to you and what you do, she is more likely to start copying your actions. She might have noticed a word you say or a habit that you have. She is clearly interested in you and wants to be more than just friends, as evidenced by this. She might be trying to establish a connection with you by mirroring your actions and words, or she might be trying to let you know that she likes you and wants you to do something about it. Now, it's subtle, but over time, you will start to notice it. A lot of younger women will go out of their way to learn your habits and mannerisms because they believe it makes them closer to you. Priority. A woman will gradually move you up the line and make you a priority once she has spoken to you for some time and starts to feel attracted to you. You'll gradually, but surely, become her go-to person when she needs to talk as you engage her in conversation. It might be she needs some comfort after a hard day, advice on a change in her career, or help with a problem that she's facing. A woman wants a specific kind of partner in her life, and that is you. Now, while the majority of girls have a best friend that they can confide in for anything, this is not what she wants. You won't be replacing her best friend in that sense, rather you'll be by her side because you can comfort her more than what her friend can do. Now, the simplest way to determine if this is taking place with you is to observe that you are the first person she contacts when she has questions about her day. She needs guidance on how to handle a situation or even when she finishes work. She wants to be more than just friends with you if this is the case. Always available. When you first meet someone and plan your first date, you may experience all kinds of nerves and anxieties, but as soon as you get there, you feel relaxed, happy and grateful that you actually went on that date. Now, a girl will make herself available if she has feelings for you the next time you suggest a date or another kind of outing for the both of you. 
She never makes her own plans and she always agrees to your suggestions which might strike you as odd. She must be interested in you if she agrees to everything you suggest and she must want you to spend as much time as you can with her because she feels this way about you. She might even be hinting that she's available when she says things like, I'm so bored today and I don't know what I need to do. So be on the lookout for this one because she might be drawing attention to the fact that you haven't invited her out on a date or to visit you in the past number of days. How to make it happen. Once you have noticed any of these signs and have established that she is interested in you, your task is to keep her interested and secure that first date. If you play your cards right, there are a number of ways you can keep her interested in you. By having conversations that are both witty and engaging, you can show her that you have more to offer than just a nice face. Plan a date. The problem, you know, with young men is that they sometimes prefer playing video games or hanging out with their friends over setting up a date. So by making an effort and carefully organizing a date or two, you can get a head start on the competition. So as an older man, you will understand that a little effort goes a long way and this is exactly one way you can show it. The thought that went into it, whether it is a simple evening meal or an exciting adventure, is what really matters here. Women adore hard work, so setting up a date can feel daunting, but taking the time to come up with something creative and meaningful can be a great way to stand out among your peers. Be approachable. Men can be intimidating to young women and older men are not exempt from this. The older you get, the less girls will think you are interested in them because of that age difference. Although it would be strange, right, to walk around with a sign that says, I am approachable, come and talk to me. There are some things that you can actually do to convey this instead. The most important thing you can do is to be friendly and open with young women without being too forwards. Smile. Anyone you speak to feels welcomed by your friendly smile. And has it ever happened that you unconsciously return someone else's smile as they pass you on the street? Since it's a mirroring response, this is why we do it. So smiles are contagious, not only in the literal sense of mirroring someone else's, but also in the metaphorical sense of sharing joy and happiness with another person. After all, it is scientifically proven that smiles are not only universally recognizable, but also essential for social interaction and human connection. Body language. Even those who aren't participating in the conversation can tell if a conversation is going well based on the body language. So crossing your arms over your chest like this is said to indicate that you are uneasy and closed off in a situation. If you are uneasy, a woman will sense this and become uneasy as a result, which is awkward for the both of you. This is why it's important to be conscious of your body language in conversations, not only to make sure the other person feels comfortable, but also so that you are coming across as open and inviting. Don't worry though, recognizing positive body language is not as hard as you think. An easy trick is to imagine if you were sat in the position or standing in the position that she is in, how would that make you feel? Would you feel comfortable? Would it feel like you are maintaining distance from someone? Humor. When you make someone laugh, a hormone is released in the brain that instantly improves their mood and can help people who are sad or feeling depressed. If you can make a girl laugh, you will not only lift her spirits, but she will be able to associate you with joy and laughter, which is a great way to get out of that friend zone if you have been assigned to it. Younger women are suckers for a funny guy who can keep that conversation going. And if you can make someone laugh, you can charm the pants off any woman you meet. Is there something any more irritating than having to explain every joke you make because the other person just doesn't get it when you're starting to date someone? Yeah, a dry conversation is the worst when you're just starting out, right? Gaining attention requires confidence, which is key to success. Every woman on the street will turn to look at you when you walk down the street like a beacon. Your posture, shoulders back, chest out, a smile, chin up, as well as your clothing choices can do a lot to boost your confidence. You will attract more attention the more confident you are, especially from younger girls. With the right attitude, you can exude a sense of assurance and strength that will make others around you take notice. By taking pride in yourself and how you present yourself, you can gain a lot of respect.